Hey everyone, ready for round two? So as I told you, we're going to be looking at the clone brush next. The clone stamp tool, I mean. So um, when you look at this picture, there's really not a lot to clone out, but you never know what your clients are going to be particular about. So I thought that we would look at maybe this piece of hair here. Whenever you have a hard edge, that would be the ideal time to use the clone stamp tool. Unlike the healing brush tool, the clone stamp will just clone whatever you grab and put it exactly as you grabbed it. So unlike the healing brush tool, the clone stamp tool will sample from whatever you grab. The healing brush will capture the texture and the tone of what's around what you're trying to heal and that way sort of keep it consistent. So let's zoom in again to 200%. And we'll move down to her hand. Remember that we are always working on our duplicate layer. It's important to work on a duplicate layer. The reason for this is that if you want to make any changes, let's say they didn't want you to clone out the hair, you can either delete your duplicate layer or you can mask out the part of the layer that wants to be back to the original and reveal the original underneath. So let's go ahead and use our clone stamp tool. Again, we're going to be looking for a very soft brush, so you're going to want to be close to 0% hardness. Like the healing brush tool, we are going to push down option to select our area to clone, choose our selection, move over to where we want to be, release the option key, and then click. And it's as simple as that. So we're going to do the same thing here and just sort of move up. We might want to make this just a little bit smaller. And there you have it. This stray hair might not seem like a big deal, but for some people, tweaking their hair to be just exactly the way that they want ends up being a very big deal. So you would be surprised how many times the clone stamp tool is used to fix a portrait, something like just how I did here. Thanks for joining us for episode two. We would love to have you back again to continue on our journey of learning Photoshop together. Have a great day.